How y'all doing? It's Rob Burnham, make sure you're man RB and the snow episode of Richard TV91. This time I'm doing another movie reviews. This time I'm reviewing Spider Man. Now, side note, I just try to watch my DVD, my versions of the DVD I have. Neither the DVD itself or the special features DVD is wanting to play on any of my DVD players. Uh, I know my DVD players work, so I'm just gonna have to do this review on pure memory. But basically, what I remember about the movie, Peter Parker's just his normal nerdy self and they go on this field trip so peter is taking pictures of mary jane and all them and peter one of the spiders gets loose from containment and bites peter so peter starts getting sick he starts he passes out for at least a day or so and when he wakes up he's super ripped and he has the agility of a, spy, a spider he just shoots spider web out of him organically which is the first time this has ever happened to spider-man if i'm correct and he ha has all his spider sense and the whole nine yards or whatever. Well, he goes to school and Flash is acting like Flash. And Peter accidentally hits Flash with a food tray with with his uh, spider web that he can't control yet. So him and Flash get, get in a fight and he's able to defeat Flash, beat Flash up pretty well. And then uh, he starts using his powers to get money and he signs up for this wrestling league or whatever. And he goes up against uh, Bonesaw, a.k.a. Macho Man Ready Savage. And he's able to beat him and get paid. And the guy who, this guy comes in and steals from the promoter. And then Peter Parker lets him uh, walk away or whatever. Because the promoter didn't pay Peter Parker what was originally uh, uh, promised or whatever. So when Peter gets home, on his way home, Peter finds his Uncle Ben dead. The guy who robbed the promoter winds up killing Uncle Ben. So Peter goes after him and helps uh, capture him, and Peter becomes Spider-Man, and we get the whole backstory of Norman Osborn uh, becoming Green Goblin, and how that happens, and then Norman finds out that Peter's uh, Spider-Man, so he goes after Peter and Aunt May and all them, and toward the end of the movie, uh, Spider-Man and Green Goblin have their final fight, and Green Goblin has Mary Jane and this passage, uh, these passengers in this uh, subway car, and he drops both of them, and Spider-Man's able to save Mary Jane and save the passengers. And then him and Green Goblin had their final fight. And the final fight, Green Goblin tries to stab Peter with the Goblin uh, glider. And Peter jumps out the way, killing Norman Osborn. And that's all that really happened in this movie. If y'all ever watched Spider-Man, the first Spider-Man movie, what y'all like about it? As always, Preacher Man R&B signed out. Guys, GG's awesome. Spinner episode of RTTV 91. See y'all next time. Thank you.